Despite the number of buckets, it's a big mess in here. Despite the number of buckets... So it's you? Look what's happened to me because of you. If I had my body back, I would tear your sheet apart. Look at me. Look at me. Calm down. Calm down? Calm down? First you dress in the sheep, make fun of me, and then kill me, and then you want me to calm down? Enough. All the time I was telling you that I am the ghost in the sheet. You never believed me. How can you say that, juvenile idiot? Despite that, I helped you, pulled you out, and then you saw me, rattled like a dog, and fell down. Huh. Stop whining. Death makes us all equal. Equal? I for one see an inequality. You can fully roam around while I'm stuck here. Be glad you don't have to look at the mess around here. That's what eats me the most. I am completely helpless. But on the other hand, there's nothing which can escape your attention. How so? Well, you're strategically in the best place. Nobody can sneak up behind you even if they try hard. Hmm... I didn't consider that point. Imagine the chance to tell off anyone trying to break into Sect Omega without your explicit permission. That's true. Now it will no longer be possible for someone to sneak in while I'm in the toilet. Thank you so much. My life's got a whole new perspective. Hmm, his face brightened. It seems it'll be much easier to communicate with him now. Do you like your new appearance? It's not bad at all. Since my body is flickering, I don't need a lamp. It's unnaturally calm in there, though. Couldn't it be that Sector Omega is deserted? Tell me more about yourself. It probably doesn't matter now, anyway. As I told you, I was a porter in Sector Omega. Aren't you still? Maybe so, but I miss the everyday hustle and bustle in there. And, and one more thing. What? I can't do my periodic factory checkups. But back to your question. I was 57, freshly divorced. At 57? It's a sad story. For 30 years I tried to teach my wife to hang the house keys on the right hooks. And guess what happened? After 30 years, she forgot where to hang them? Not at all. She did. But she hung the garage key on the main door hook. Can you understand that? All the hooks were clearly marked and she did that, after 30 years of marriage. The slightest possibility that you were taking it too seriously didn't happen to cross your mind? Not at all. Order must be strict. I know it too well. It starts with a misplaced key, and ends up with a mass murder. I don't want to know what kind of mental acrobacy led you to that conclusion. Did anything interesting happen while I was elsewhere? Peace and silence everywhere, but not order. You can see for yourself. If only I didn't have to look at so many buckets in this mess. What can you tell me about... Sector Omega? If I were being sincere to you, Sector Omega is a big enigma to me. How so? There's nothing that can escape a good porter. I agree that normally it's the case, but in Sector Omega, nobody knew what was being produced. Many times I've heard workers creating vivid theories about the purpose of this factory, but nobody could actually come up with anything reasonable. Also, a large embargo placed upon any such information made those discussions very private. I find it almost unbelievable. Sector Omega isn't so big as to be able to keep its main purpose in such secrecy. Hansen. I liked Hansen. He was one of the few who treated me nicely. 
He always dropped by for a little talk before he went to work. I found Neil's diary. Do you happen to know exactly what happened to him? It's a sad story. He'd gone mad and jumped off the cable car. According to Neil's diary, it seems that Hansen as well as Niels went crazy after entering the cellar. Ah, one more thing. Do ladybirds mean anything to you? Strange you mention them. We thought at first that it was some sort of joke. Mysterious inscriptions sprayed on the walls of Omega started to appear randomly. It was considered some form of stupid juvenile behavior. After Hansen's suicide, the view on those inscriptions changed. Unfortunately, no one was able to shed any light into their meaning or origin. Larissa. I've only seen Larissa a couple of times. She looked very nice, and moreover, the rumor went that she was very close to Niels. Niels. I didn't know Niels much. He was new in here, but he looked very kind. Kurt. The big boss. He always looked upon us from on high. I was glad I didn't meet him very often. Only once did he surprise me. I swear he must have sealed a pact with the devil. He entered Omega and I didn't see him entering at all. Moreover, he cast such a glance at me with a silent signal to be quiet about it. He must have surely known that I knew something wasn't right. Scott. The fireman extraordinaire. I love this man. He always smoked a pipe and told us some great stories. That's enough for now. Do you know anything about the thief in the dressing room? That was back then the most peculiar thing. But personally, I don't believe that it was a thief. And what do you think it was? It was when we had that big fire in the factory that everybody was really shaken. As I remember, Hansen was shaken the most. On my periodical checks, I found him in the dressing rooms. He was swearing, using words I've never ever heard from him, and frantically punching the no smoking sign. I think that he thought that a cigarette was the cause of the fire. I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one angrily slamming the locker doors. Hmm. See you later. Before you leave, I have a favor to ask you. Since unlike me you're able to walk around, could you please repair the fan above my head? It's so hot in here I can hardly breathe. How can you be hot and have difficulty breathing when you're a ghost? I haven't a clue, but I have a feeling of stale air. If you help me, I'll help you with some access or something. Okay, I'll see what I can do. <coughs> so this looks really interesting, as it seems someone made a damn good job of barricading the only reasonable factory exit. But why? Hmm, it won't budge. Lock tight. I found out that the storage room door is locked. Can you open it for me? Guess what? I have a great idea. I help you, and you help me. My storeroom's been infested by rats. If you promise to eliminate them, I'll unlock the storeroom for you. And is it worth it? In your condition? As long as I'm here, I'll take care of Omega, even if I'm a hundred times dead. So let's go. And don't cheat. I'll know if you do. <coughs> pages and pages filled with safety regulations are scattered all over the floor. If they'd approved them sooner, maybe it would have looked a bit different in here.
The door is locked. A rat. That must be one of those Dirac spoke about. So come on, you little bastards. Let's see who's gonna win. Got you. Dirac will be pleased. <laughs> For example, the idea of looking at me hasn't crossed your mind. No, whenever I take a shower, I keep my eyes closed. And I presume you're not making any exceptions because of me? Clever boy. Larissa, listen to me. Think for a while. You woke up for some strange reason in the shower. You have no clue how you got in there. You've taken a shower for a couple of days already. And you don't even know? And you don't even find that strange? You're afraid to open your eyes because you're all black. Larissa, you're not dirty. You're a ghost as I am. A ghost, you say? I thought that to be a ghost, I'd have to wear a sheet like you do. You're a shadow, Larissa. That's probably why you don't have a sheet. That was a joke. I'm not a ghost because... Because? Well, how could I be a ghost and taking a shower at the same time? But you're not taking a shower. That sound is coming directly from you. No water is running here. If you opened your eyes, you'd see the condition this room is in. Nobody will take a real shower in here for a long time. You joker. Okay, so I'll open my eyes for a short moment, and if you're lying, you promise to leave immediately? I feel that's the only way to get rid of you. You're really a ghost in a sheet. That's not possible. We're not in some fairy tale. At least now we're getting somewhere. But how does it look in here? And how do I look? Try to remain calm. You'll soon get used to this. It certainly took me a while as well. Where's Niels? He would help me now. Niels? That's exactly what I'd like to know as well. Tell me something more about you. My name is Larissa. I'm a mana... Actually, I was the manager of human resources here in Sector Omega. I wasn't here for a long time, but they told me that my predecessor took early retirement. Hmm, if by early retirement that meant the condition you're in now, I'm not surprised they needed a successor. I wouldn't say that. It just all went wrong in here. I happened to realize that during my short visit. What's the purpose of Sector Omega? What's interesting is that although I had to manage human resources, I was never told what Sector Omega was for. I have a feeling you weren't alone. I have the suspicion that the only one apart from Kurt who knew something was Hansen, and then Niels, before he left. The crook! but I do still love him. At the contract signing, I was told rule number one. Too many questions and you're fired. Didn't you find that a bit strange? It was a well-paid job. It paid off to keep quiet. Looking at your condition now, I seriously doubt that. Tell me about Niels. That crook. Imagine that. He fooled me completely. First, he told me how much he loved me, then he seduced me, and when he realized I was pregnant, he ran away. 
and I still love him so much. If only I had some proof that it wasn't true, that it's a mere misunderstanding. I have my doubts about Niels running away. Why do you think that? Tell me anything. I'll be grateful for any clue. I found his diary. I think that he may have ended similarly to Hansen. At least everything points in that direction. I beg you, if you obtain any information which would shed any light on his disappearance, tell me. Until then, I don't want to speak about it. I believe I've found out exactly the information you're looking for. Don't tease me. You know I suffer because of him. While I was looking around the storeroom, I found a letter from Niels addressed to you. It reads, Dearest Larissa, Always in love, you're Niels. So you're all right after all. I fear something really ugly happened to him. I so much want to know what happened to him. Tell me something more about Niels. Thinking about it now, we'd known each other for such a short time, but after only a couple of days, we already realized how close we were. It was almost as if we were reading each other's minds. We didn't have to speak, since whenever one of us started to talk, the other finished the sentence. Did Niels talk to you about anything before he left? He was actually more silent than usual. I thought it was because of my pregnancy, but now I see I should have been more persuasive. Well, speaking of which, once he mentioned that he tried to walk in Hansen's footsteps, but I thought it must have been a production issue, so I didn't pay much attention to it. Interesting. I found a door protected by a code in the cellar. Did Niels mention to you what that code might be? Thinking about the diary contents, I think it's connected to individual numbers. Any ideas what the ladybirds are? Ladybird writings started to appear just after I was employed here. Nobody knew what they were supposed to mean. If Hansen, and later on Niels, never mentioned them, I'd say it was some sort of joke. Now I'm more scared. I'd like to ask you something else. What can you tell me about... Hansen? Hansen was a strange fellow. I didn't quite understand him, but I know he was a good friend of Niels, and I certainly didn't want to see him come to an end like this. Any idea what happened to him? Well, Niels told me that Hansen went mad and jumped off the cable car. I know nothing else about it. Management put a strict information embargo on that case, that even I wasn't allowed to be interested. Weird. Dirac. Jacques Dirac. Fanatical porter. I quite like him now, but it took me quite some time to get used to him. Kurt. The big boss. I didn't get to know him well, but he was a bit of a weirdo. Scott. That pig! He tried to harass me. I put an end to that fast. Just out of plain curiosity, how? I locked him in the dressing room. I think that's enough for now. See you later. <laughs>